right guys, here's the plan for this room. Um, I am going to cut into all the corners. I'm going to use my favorite, my zebra paintbrush because it has a perfect angle for cutting in. And it saves me all the time of having to tape up or tape off all of the trim work in here. Um, then once I have gone around um, all the edges, then I'm going to use my Wagner roller. Um, I will say there's a few places where I am going to, for example, this piece of furniture and then my desk. I'm going to work around them. This piece is a beast. It's super heavy, so I don't feel like moving it right now. I'm going to work all my way around it. Then once the paint's dry, I'm going to have my husband just move it over slightly. Then I'll get that area. Same goes with my desk. So when you see me trimming out the paint, that is why those pieces of furniture are still sitting there. But these are really great. Stick it in here, it's got this little pad. Can't keep it in here for days, but you can keep it in here, you know, for like up to 24 hours. So if I don't get back to this project until tomorrow, I can come back and my paintbrush will still be great. It's not gonna dry out. All right, let's get to the Wagner sprayer. but that took me pretty much an hour to cut in all the edges and then to do the first coat. And guys, it looks great. It gets a lot of coverage. I had to fill up, I think four times, maybe five at the most, but four times. Um, it probably used like a quarter gallon of my paint to do this whole first coat, let me show you. But man, is it looking so much better already. It's just brighter and fresher. So excited. So I'm gonna let this dry 
Then I'll go back in and hit it with a second coat. Once the second coat dries, it should be good. Then I'm gonna go move these over, this piece and this piece, and I'm gonna get underneath them so that the whole floor is painted. And I am going to actually deal with the stairs at a later point for another part of this art room makeover.